A lot of people go through life carrying along with them childhood traumas. We keep coloring these hurtful experiences and giving them life when we recount them in ways that show that we are holding on to them tightly and haven't healed or are not undergoing the healing process that we need. If I could make one wish, it would be that no one gets to suffer any childhood traumatic experience that drags on with them through life. A lot of people are carrying about with them unseen baggages, hearts, and mindsets that have been ingrained in them one way or the other. You wonder why you sometimes feel so heavy, why it seems like the weight of the world rests upon your shoulder oftentimes. It's because you are holding on to many things you should have left behind, where they belong, in the past. Through different stages of life, these hurts and traumatic experiences go with you. You imagine that when you go away from your hurtful experiences to find an education, they will probably go away with time. But then, you still carry them along with you. And then you realize that it doesn't stop there. Even after getting an education and wishing that this should have passed away, you find out that when you move on to go ahead to build your life or even begin a career in something that you are very passionate about, it still continues. You still carry around with you this load. It interjects with your motivation. You never imagine that you can do so well even when you try to because you hold on tightly to your pain and you imagine it can't get better. Even when you go on to start a family, you realize that you are torn between the joys that await you and the past that needs to be free from you and that you need to be free from. But then, the cycle continues. You carry this load and hold on to it while it keeps weighing on you. Imagine the effect that these traumatic experiences can have on the new home that you intend to build. They will begin to unravel in how you communicate with your spouse, in how you raise your children. You don't have to wait for this leech to eat deep into the fabrics of your home. How can you learn to let go of this, you may wonder. It's important to understand and to be mindful about that adage that says a problem shared is a problem half solved. But I'll say a problem shared with the right person is half solved. Seek godly counsel. That's one step towards letting go of the past. How can you heal from this? There is one way that is for sure when it comes to finding complete healing. It is at the feet of Jesus Christ. Sometimes we imagine that holding on tightly to the past may be better or safer, but believe me when I say it is his desire that we cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us one by one, surrender them all. You need to be light again. You don't need this burden weighing you down and affecting you for the rest of your life. Let it go. How can you resist help when it is right there? Why do we choose pain over joy? Why are we afraid to let go and open up to better things that are ahead? Why are we not allowing this pain have a greater gain when we let God have it and use it? Let it go completely to Him and get filled with what you really need to have as that is the only way you can give your life your home the best that you can it is when you completely surrender and let him have his way that he can take care of your fragile self and fill you with everything that you need to be able to enjoy life to the fullest and let those around you also partake in the amazing things that you are made of. I hope that one way or the other, this video has inspired you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, 
to stay blessed. Bye.